three goalkeepers. Not every team has three goalkeepers, I know that. But what, what we'll do is, we'll get one man and one cone. One man and another cone, anybody at all that's whoever wants. Right, Joby. You know, it's just to get the footwork going. Cross, catch, come across in the hand, catch. Letting the keeper, letting the keeper come across and you're getting the pass back, protecting the hand, back. Everything you do is match situation. Pack, find a corner back, that's the corner back stand right there. Catch, bang. So you just go through that. There's no point in me standing all night doing them drills. So that's one, that's one wee variation. Maybe do 20 touches each side. Every single thing, catch, protect your hand, back to the man. Catch, protect your hand, back to the man. Then you can go, go ahead down. Just, these two lads are aiming for each post so that you're coming across. You know, they're not just hitting the ball. Go ahead, Dad, you just hit her straight at me. They're not just hitting the ball like that. She can stand all night and do that there. It's not improving your leg muscles. It's not improving your footwork. You know, so that's, that's why you're moving across the goals a wee bit. Just tap her three quarter pace along the ground, Dad. While we're doing these drills, if you have two keepers, say a minor keeper in your club, or the seconds goalkeeper, you're improving these lads. You're doing exactly the same as, I'm hitting the ball back to his feet, I'm hitting the ball back to his hands, whatever way, whatever way, just to improve him as well. Because there's no point in one man getting improved the whole time, whenever he can improve. Go ahead, Joby. So he's just going. But I see in your head, there's a forward coming in there. Take the hand. And just go through as well as I got. This is the same warm up as I try to do before every match. Everybody's different. Some people don't like going, going through too much. So I try to do that because it knows, I know it's getting my heart rate built up a bit and how legs go on, whatever. I know a wee one is, Joby. We'll just work with Joby a wee minute here. Two balls. So just a wee bit of starting to think a wee bit now along the ground at the same time. Taking the hand, left hand, just moving each other. Just working the gap there. You can work the gap there for maybe five minutes. And another variation is up to the hand. You're keeping an eye on the ball that's coming. You keep an eye on the ball, the ball that's there. So yeah, just basically a couple of small warm up drills to get you going before, before you're uh, sort of do a lot of shot stopping drills. Uh, if, you get that out of the, if you get that out of the way early on, and you feel, Jesus, you know, son, the touch isn't good there tonight. What, what I try to do is just even scrap the warm up, forget what you're doing, and go back to basics. Joby just hit her straight at me. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Just get the touch back in. Joby's doing that, we touch in the hand. You know, no point in going through all the drills if you're all over the place. You know, it's like, don't look cute like myself, done a drill one day, we'll move out the side, it's a bit bumpy there, Joby. We're just working each other with the ball. And I was moving. See what Joby done there? Hit the ball, hit the ball, say, 10 yards away from where I was. Go ahead, Joby. Look up, Joby. Takes no time to look up anywhere in the pitch. I done the exact same drill with Don Lukusic, and I must have hit the ball 20 yards further than where he was. He just stepped the side like that. The ball just, and he stood and he went. He says, Graham, it takes no time to look up. You know, and not to put these boys in the pedestal, but he was 100% right. Absolutely no time to look up. Look, and the ball. Looking up, it takes no time at all. So, if you go through the drills, what I would say is, there's no point in doing all these drills all night, every night, if you're not getting them right. You can spend all night doing these drills here, what we've just done there. If there's a coach standing in the crowd there, like there is in my club, he can stand and say, Graham, uh, first touch isn't great there. Simple as that. If, somebody's, if there's a coach here this evening, just keeping an eye on their goalkeepers for the betterment of the team. He's not going to want the goalkeeper driver in that top corner, Joby. He's not going to want the 
the goalkeeper jumping about the place. If he can't come, control the ball, protect his hand and strike it down the pitch. So that's what I try to do, like I said at the start. Absolutely everything perfect and everything match scenario. So what we'll do then is, wanna, anybody else want to go in the goals there? Any, go ahead lads. Uh, so you know yourself. Stay there, you're alright. So what I'll try to do then is a wee bit of shot stopping. Now there's no point again if, if there's three goalkeepers working together at these drills and one man standing and coming and burying her up in the top corner. The first sort of the first sort of shot stopping drill I would do, I would hit it straight, hit the ball three quarter pace, three quarter pace it, the goalkeeper, just to get his eye in. As well as that, if he can and his touch is good and he's confident, he'll be able to control, protect the hand and back to me. You know, so you're going to try to, out of, say, out of, five ball, out of five balls each, you're going to try to control at least two of them in the hand and back to me or Joby. Go ahead. Stuff. That's it. Remember forward coming in, that's it, short and stick, good lot. It's alright, forget about it. Alright. Good man. Good stuff. Perfect. So instead of the first ball coming to the goalkeeper in a match, so these drills you maybe do before the match, instead of the first ball, stay there. He's just pushing away to a forward. He's got his eye in, he's got his warm up done. He's feeling not too bad. He maybe controls that ball instead of pushing it out 